Hawaii-based film that has yet to go into production is already drawing criticism because of who it's casting for the lead role. The movie is called Ni'ihau. It's a historical drama based on what happened on that island during the Pearl Harbor attack. And it's based on a true story of World War II hero Ben Kanahele, a native Hawaiian. Well, according to a report out of Hollywood, he will be portrayed by actor Zach McGowan, a blue-eyed white actor. Well, native Hawaiians are angry about it, but they're not the only ones. Manolo Morales goes beyond the headlines. Some people say what makes this movie even worse, that it's supposed to portray a historical event, so the characters in it are real people. The movie Niihau tells the true story of a Japanese fighter pilot who crash-landed on the island. Niihau resident Ben Kanahele was taken hostage by the pilot but wound up fighting back. He killed the pilot and received the Purple Heart for his bravery. Actor Zach McGowan, who also stars in CW's The 100, will play the role of Kanahele in the movie. Mm -hmm. They have so many good actors so many, here. So Why many, would lo they do so that? many local actors uh, who are Hawaiian or part Hawaiian would be more appropriate to pay a part like that. And we call it polyface. I know that in, in the U.S. they call it whitewashing, right? But it's polyface. It's like blackface, except it's Polynesian. They're going to polyface it. It's about the fake version of us for everybody else's entertainment. And it does not help us at all. It does not help this place. Big Island filmmaker Ann Keala Kelly points out that it happens all too often with other movies such as Aloha and The Descendants. Everybody can be the Hawaiian on screen except the Hawaiian, according to that industry. And so it's, it's problematic in all of these different kinds of historical and cultural and sociopolitical ways. But the movie will be shot in Malaysia. The production company was quoted in an article today that because it is a true story, the material requires utmost care and authenticity. We reached out to the company and we didn't get a response. Manolo Morales, KHON 2 News.